Hello everyone, welcome back to Padli. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Aweber subscriber on Instamojo payment. So let's suppose I am running an online business and I rely on Instamojo for all my payments. Now whenever there is a new payment in Instamojo, I want to create subscriber in Aweber automatically. Now as I completely want to automate this process, I am going to use Public Connect. So Public Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no coding or programming skills. Here I just need to build connection between Instamojo and Aweber. Public Connect runs on two principles which is trigger and action. Here as my trigger application, I am going to take Instamojo where this new payment will happen and then in my action application, I am going to take Aweber where the subscriber will be created automatically. If you want to learn this amazing automation step by step, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Aweber subscriber on Instamojo payment. For this, we are going to create automation between Instamojo and Aweber with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and you can visit this simply by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser. Now after browsing the website, we need to sign into our Pabli account. On the top right corner, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, click on the sign in. And if you are a new user, click on the sign up for free and this will give you 100 tasks free on monthly basis. As I'm an existing user, I'll click on the sign in. And here a dashboard has appeared showing me all the Pabli applications. Here I have to click on this Pabli Connect Access Now. And it has taken me to this dashboard where I will be able to find all my workflows over here and all the folders that I have created over here. If you want to create a new folder, you simply have to click on this plus icon and from here you can create a new folder. For now, I want to create a new workflow for which I need to click on this create workflow and first I need to provide the workflow name and then I have to select the folder in which I want to save that workflow. So first let's name this workflow as how to create a Weber subscriber on Instamojo payment and now I need to select my folder. So these are the folders that have been created and I want to select this all automations and then click on create. Now as soon as I click on create, two boxes have appeared in front of me. One is trigger, other is action. So trigger says when this happens and action says do this. So trigger is basically an event which starts the automation of a workflow. There can be only one trigger in a workflow but as many as action applications as you want. Here in this workflow, I want to create a Weber subscriber on Instamojo payment which means whenever there will be an Instamojo payment, a subscriber will be created in a Weber which means whenever there will be an Instamojo payment, this complete workflow here will get triggered because trigger says when this happens. So whenever Instamojo payment happens and then action says do this, then create a Weber subscriber. So here in my trigger application, I am going to take Instamojo V2. And then in my trigger event, I have to take this successful payment. Now I need to make connection between Instamojo and Public Connect for which a webhook URL is provided to me and this URL is going to act as a bridge to connect my Instamojo with Public Connect. So reading this help desk, I am going to make this connection and to make this connection, let's open my Instamojo account. So this is my Instamojo account and on the left hand side where I can see all these options, here I have to click on the smart pages. And here I can see that all the pages that have been created. Here I want to get this designer dress and for that we have to make the connection and we have to click on this three dots from where we have to go to this edit page and then after that we have to click on this page settings and then we have to click on this webhooks. Now we have to remove the previously existing webhook URL and then we have to copy the webhook URL which we were provided in my public connect workflow and then paste that webhook URL over here and over here in this information to be sent here we have two options successful payment and the failed payments so here whenever the successful payment is happening in my instamojo this this webhook should trigger the workflow so after selecting this i have to simply click on the save and update and then i have to click on this yes save and update 
So here I have successfully added my Webook URL in this particular page and let's go back to Public Connect. If I scroll down, I can see this waiting for the Webook response and under this it is written. Now log into the application where you have added the Webook URL and do the submission so that the data can be recorded here in the Webook response. Now this means so as to get the Webook response over here, I need to do a test submission for which I need to open my Insta Mojo and I am going to make the test submission over here for this designer dress. After making the form submission or the test payment or the payment in my Insta Mojo, if Pabli Connect captured this response here in this workflow, this means the connection that we have created with the help of this Webook URL that is successful. So here I have opened my designer dress checkout page and I am going to enter some dummy details in all these fields. So here I have entered my first name as admin, last name as user, email address as admin at the rate pablyjuge.com and this is my phone number. Now I am going to click on this proceed to pay and then I am going to select my payment method as credit and debit card and then I am going to enter my card details. Now after entering the card details I simply have to click on this pay 9. Now here I need to provide the OTP which I have received on my number so I am going to enter that and then I have to click on the submit. Now after entering the OTP, I am going to click on the submit and here the payment is successful. Now all these details should be captured in my Pabli Connect. So let's open my Pabli Connect and here I can see that I have received the response instantly. The payment was made for this dress. The payment amount was rupees 9. The name was admin user, phone number was this and the email address was admin at the rate pablitudes.com. Now that we have received the response, this means the connection that we have created with the help of this Facebook URL between Pabli Connect and InstaMojo that is successful and now whenever someone will make the payment in InstaMojo, I will start receiving the response here in my Pabli Connect workflow. Now moving on to the next step, whenever there is InstaMojo payment, I want to create Aweber subscriber. So here in my action application, I am going to take Aweber. And then in my action event, I have to click on this add or update subscriber. Now I have to click on this connect. So if you have an existing connection, click on save. If you don't have one, click on this add new connection and then click on this connect with Aweber. Now over here, I have already logged in my Aweber account. So here to authorize my account, I have entered my login name and the password. And now I am going to click on this allow access. And you can do this too because your data is completely safe with Pabli Connect. Now here authorization successful. So Aweber is connected with Pabli Connect and now I have to enter all these details. So the first one is full name that I have to enter the full name. Here I am provided with the account ID and the list ID. So under this particular list, all the subscribers will be created. So here I have to enter the full name. So I'm not going to enter this manually. Instead, I'm going to use a method called mapping, which means I'm going to enter data from my previous response. So here, as you know that we have received the response from InstaMojo. And when I click on this full name, I can see this InstaMojo V2. And when I click on this, I can see all the response that I've received from there. Now here the full name is admin user and then I have to enter the email. So the email was admin at the rate pablitudes.com and then I have to select this update existing. No, I do not want to update the existing as I want to create a new subscriber. Then all these fields, tags, ad tracking, IP address, last follow up message. These fields are not required ones. So I am going to skip this and also the miscellaneous notes. But if you want to enter these fields, you can enter following the help desk given below these fields. Now I have also received the mobile number in my response. So I am going to map that mobile number, which was this one. Now over here, mapping is important so that every time I receive a new response, it is taken into consideration in these fields. Manually entering the data will make these fields static and the information will not change even if you have received the new response. Over here, if I manually enter any detail, this field will become static and every time I receive a new response, the result will not change. So as to keep these fields dynamic, we use this process mapping instead of manually entering the details. Now after entering all these details, I simply have to scroll down and then click on the save and send test request. So here I have received the response and this response is a positive one. Now I need to open my Aweber and check whether the subscriber has been created there or not. 
so here this is my aweber account and on the left hand side i have clicked on the subscribers and here i can see that i have created this admin user the name was admin user email address was admin@pavlidudes.com and this was the phone number so now to summarize we took insta mojo v2 as a trigger application where we made connection with public connect with the help of this web hook url we made a payment in insta mojo and received the response here in this workflow after that we moved to the next step where we took a weber as our action application we entered the full name email address and the mobile number with the help of a process called mapping we simply clicked on the save and send test request and received the response as the subscriber been created in my a weber account So we have successfully created automation between Insta Mojo V2 and Aweber with the help of Pabli Connect. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate pabli dot com. If you have any query, you can reach us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can visit the website given over here. Also if you find our videos helpful do share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our channel